Hey guys, so I filmed this video once. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm having like the worst filming day today. I filmed it and then I started watching back the footage and my hair, you'll see it in the bloopers because I had some good bloopers with that hair, but it looked like there was a honey bun sitting on top of my head. It was bad. So I'm re-filming it. I washed my hair. I didn't want to wash it, but I had to. I, it just, anyway. So hi, we're not here today to talk about my hair. We are here to talk about foundations. So this video is the first in a series that I'm starting and I've been wanting to do this. I talked with you guys about it on Snapchat. I wanted to do like a shop my stash video where I go in and pull out products that I've kind of forgotten about, things that I haven't used for a while. But I just kind of played off of that and we're doing like a declutter a shop my stash and in the process you get to see my makeup collection but I'm doing it in categories so today we're talking about foundations I had to film this like I had to do this I should say because I told you guys on snapchat I don't think I talked about it on Instagram but I'm going to be moving beauty rooms this is my room right now but it's just not big enough and we're finishing our basement because my mom's going to be moving in with us and there's this huge storage space in the basement that's going to be finished and it's going to be my new beauty room and it's a huge space I'm so excited but I can't take all of this crap with me because I should have done it before I moved into this room like went through and got rid of stuff and just organized a little bit better but I just pretty much moved my entire makeup collection into here without like going through and getting rid of stuff and now I'm just like overwhelmed with the amount of makeup that I have so this was gonna happen either way but I just thought it would be kind of cool to film it anyway this intro is getting very long I hope you guys enjoy this video if you have an opinion on what category I do next like if you want to see lipsticks or blushes highlighters whatever just let me know down below and yeah, I hope you guys like this video and let's get into the foundations. Okay, so this is one of three foundation drawers. Three, I know. So I need to get rid of some stuff. I need to pull some stuff out to use and we're just basically gonna go through it. So these are foundations that I don't use often at all. So why am I keeping all of them? Like, this is, this is insanity. This doesn't belong there. This is an extra memory card. We're going to toss that away. I mean, not toss it away, but, you know, just get it out of the way. So, I have these NYX HD found, whoa, foundations that I know I'm never going to use them. So, I'm going to pull all of these out. And I think, oh, sorry, my phone's going off. I think I'm going to donate these I may keep one I may keep the one that's in my shade which I think is natural beige but the rest of these like I don't need this this is just kind of sinful right okay so this stay luminous foundation from covergirl can you guys see should I zoom you in a little bit okay hopefully that's good this shade is so so dark and I don't like really luminous foundations because I'm oily so I am going to I think I'm gonna toss this because I've had this for over a year so I don't really want to give it to a friend because I know it's probably close to being expired um this makeup forever ultra HD foundation stick I want to get this out because I want to try using this more I used it a few times and then I don't know why I just threw it in here but I want to use this so I'm gonna get that out these makeup forever matte velvet foundations I'm so torn on these part of me wants to keep them part of me wants to throw them away uh, I don't know what to do with these I'm gonna think on this I'm gonna set them aside um, I'm never going to part with these, the Makeup Forever HD, because they don't make this anymore, and it's one of my all-time favorite foundations. I do think that I like the old HD better than the new one. I like both of them, but I think if I had to choose, I would go with the OG. So they are staying. But, I have like 30 shades of this L'Oreal Infallible. Pro Matte Foundation, which I love this, but I do not need all of these shades. 105 is my usual shade, so I'm going to hang on to that. I have two of them for some unknown reason. 
106 and 107. Hmm, I think I'm going to donate these two to friends and family because these are fairly new and I use them not very often. So I have two of the Becca Radiant Skin Satin Finish Foundations. I have not used this in such a long time, so I think I am going to toss these. And then I have the Cover Effects Natural Finish Oil Free Foundation. Um, I think I only used this like one time, so I'm going to give this another try. And I'm going to keep this out to use, and then I'll make a decision. The Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. I'm going to hang on to this, even though I don't use it that often. I do like this foundation. Maybe I'll pull this out, and we'll start trying this out. I need to get out of my foundation rut. All I want to use is the Too Faced Born this way. Um, this Ready Set Gorgeous from CoverGirl, I'm going to donate to a friend. I don't think I ever used it, but it's way, 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 way too dark for me. Why did I even buy this shade? I have no idea. Uh, the Lorac Natural Performance Foundation. I think I'm going to get rid of this. I'm actually going to donate this to a friend because I only use it a few times. I just, I don't love the way it looks on my skin. Same with this Perfection from Lorac. These two shades are so off. One is extremely dark. The other one is extremely orange. Orange. So I'm going to see if I can find someone that would put these to good use. Hey, we're doing really good. The Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. I love this foundation, but I have not used this in such a long time. But I'm going to hang on to these because I do really like the way they look on my skin. This Gorgeous Cosmetics Base Perfect Liquid Foundation. This is not my shade. They sent me this as PR and the shade is totally off. So I'm going to donate this to a friend. This Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation used to be my favorite foundation. I used to be ride or die for this. I mean, I was obsessed with this. But I don't know. I just don't really love it on my skin anymore. I like this more when my skin was a little bit drier. Now that I'm greasy, I, I don't know. I just don't love it as much. And these are really old. So I'm going to toss both of these. And then I have two of the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel Foundations. I really like this foundation. I don't know why I don't use this more. Um, I'm going to actually keep out Best Medium, and I'm going to start using this. And this one I'm going to toss. Fawn Light, because this honestly is like two years old. L'Oreal True Match I'm keeping because I always go back to this foundation. I have so many shades of it, but that's okay. I use them. I use it all throughout the year. I love this foundation. It's one of my favorite drugstore foundations. This Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Foundation. This is so dark. Why did I buy all of these super dark shades? Oh, and excuse the highlights on my hand. I was playing. Um... I'm going to hang on to this. I might use this over the summer, so I'm going to keep that. The L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Foundation. I used to really like this, but that was when my skin was a little bit more dry. So these two I am going to donate. I'm going to pull this little guy forward. Um, this is the Girlactic La Creme Foundation in Sand. I am, I'm just not a big fan of cream foundations like this. I either want a liquid or pretty much nothing else. I don't really care for powder foundations, and I don't care for cream foundations. But I'm going to hold on to this because you never know if I need it for reference or something, just with, you know, being a YouTuber. So I'm going to hang on to this. Okay, so back here is all of my LA Girl BB creams and concealers, other than these, whoa, other than these two NARS Sheer Glow foundations, which I'm going to pull these out. I'm going to give them one more try, and then I'm either going to hang on to them or I'm going to get rid of them, but we're going to make a decision on these. I am hanging on to these only because I do use these. Um, I love the LA Girl BB Cream, and I use these in my kit. And sometimes, like, my girlfriends are come, will come over and I'll be like, oh, just take one. So I'm going to hold on to these just in case I need them. 
and I am keeping all of the concealers. That might sound crazy, but I can use these to contour. I like to use these in my kit when I do freelance, like weddings and proms and stuff like that, and prom season is coming up. So I'm keeping all of these guys. Um, this Makeup Revolution, the one foundation, this I'm going to donate because I just really don't like the way it looks on my skin. And these two Bare Minerals foundations, I'm going to hang on to these because they're basically the only powder foundations that I own. And I do, I don't know, I go back and forth with Bare Minerals, but I'm going to keep them. Oh, did I talk about the L'Oreal True Match Lumi? Um, I don't know what I want to do with these. I feel like I should probably get rid of them because I don't really use them since my skin is no longer dry. Just for a quick backstory, my skin used to be really dry and then one day I just woke up and I was an oily mess and I've been oily ever since. So I don't really use the Lumi anymore and these are really old. So I think I'm going to get rid of both of these. Um, oh, I didn't talk about this one either, the Bare Minerals Bare Skin. I do kind of like the way this looks on my skin, so I'm going to hang on to that. It's not old, and I don't hate it or anything. Oh, also the Tarte. I like the Tarte BB Cream. I think this is a really, really good BB Cream. I'm keeping that. And I'm going to keep the 12-hour full coverage foundation as well, because I used to mix these two together, and I really like the way that it looked. I should pull these out and use them, but I've already pulled out so much, so I'm going to leave these in here, but I will go back to these at some point. Okay, more foundations. So I have the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder. I kind of like this, so I'm going to hang on to this, and I have three more shades of the Makeup Forever HD, which I'm not getting rid of these. I just, I can't, I can't part with that. Um, I think some of these I was actually supposed to get rid of. This Smashbox Studio Skin, these shades are way too dark for me. So I'm going to donate both of them. Hey, here's another. Oh, this is in the shade 135. Maybe this is the one that I was using and didn't love the shade. Probably because I was using the wrong damn one. Ay. Um, What's this? The Smashbox Camera Ready BB Water. I don't think I'm ever going to use this, so I'm going to pass this on to a friend. I'm going to keep my Cover FX drops because I do really like these, and they're very convenient. If you have a foundation that's kind of off a little bit, you can kind of alter the shade. I always forget to use them. Keeping the Dream Wonder because I really like this um, foundation. It's a really pretty drugstore foundation. Okay, why do I have a shade this dark? Um... I'm going to donate this because when the F am I going to use that shade of foundation? I have no clue. And here is yet another L'Oreal Infallible in the shade 111. I'm donating that as well. Good lord. The By Terry Terribly? Terribly Denseless? It's such a weird name. Um, I don't know. I just don't love the way this looks on my skin. But it was a gift. And it was so expensive. I feel so bad getting rid of it. I just... Uh, I'm going to hang on to it. I'm going to keep it just because I feel that I should. Ah, here's a Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I love this foundation. This is my summer shade, but she is definitely staying. This L'Oreal Lumi Cushion. This is the shade N3.5. This matches me so beautifully. I wish every foundation shade looked like this because it just... It matches my skin perfectly. Look at that color. It's such a good shade. But I hate the way this looks on my skin. I'm way too oily for this. So I'm going to donate that. I think we're making progress. Here's another Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick in 128. So I have a backup. Oh, whoa. Wait. That shit is dark as... What? What? Oh, my God. I could, um... I could contour with that. Sweet baby Jesus. That is dark. I'm going to hang on to this because I think I got this when I went to a Makeup Forever event. And I got this specifically for contouring. I just never used it. But I should. I'm going to keep it out. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm going to. And I think that that's pretty much it for foundations. I did good. You guys, look at this. That is impressive, right? 
Yeah, I I'm good with that. Good job, Nicole. Let's give her a round of applause. So I realized that I have like three of every shade of the LA Girl BB Cream. So I am donating these guys and I still have a bunch in my stash. So I mentioned three foundation drawers. This is my other drawer of foundations. These are the ones that I use pretty much like every day. I'm not getting rid of any of these, but I'll show them to you guys quickly. So I have the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint. Of course, my Too Faced Born This Way. Jouer Matte Moisture Tint. Um, Armani Luminous Silk. Oh my god, another L'Oreal Infallible. What shade is this? 106. I'm going to hang on to this one. Um, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, which I love. More Makeup Forever Ultra HD. What else do we have? Natasha Denona Face Glow. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep this one because I really don't think I'm going to wear it. So I actually think I'm going to donate this. I'm going to give this to my, my friend Courtney. I think she would like this. What else is in here? Oh, here's the new Becca one. I've never, I've never even tried this. Oh man, I need to try that though. And the Maybelline Dream Velvet, which I like. Okay, drawer number three. I know it's a mess, but hey, it works. Sorry if we're a little bit lopsided. I just realized that we're kind of like crooked. Um, but I'm gonna go through BB creams. I feel like we did this once already in a declutter video. Sorry, I'm trying to focus. But um, we're going to do it again real quick because I think I want to get rid of a few of these. As much as I don't want to get rid of this, this used to be my favorite. I used it every day of my life, but I don't use it anymore. I don't know why. I just never, ever grab for it. Let me check this out. I, I used to love this when I was dry. Now, yeah, it definitely feels a little bit too dewy for me, but this is such a good product and nobody ever, ever talks about it. I used to, like, this was my ride or die. Such a beautiful product if you have dry skin. I don't know if I can get rid of it. I have, like, such a special place in my heart for this. I'm going to keep it. Um, the Girlactic Skin Tint... I think I'm going to give this to one of my friends, not because I don't like it, because I do. I just don't ever wear it, and I feel like it's going to waste. So I'm going to donate that. This um, Makeup Revolution Ultra Face Base Foundation. Let me look at this shade. I totally forget. You know what? That looks like a nice shade. I'm going to put this out and give this one more try, because I don't remember how I felt about it. The Napoleon Purtis Stroke of Genius Liquid Cashmere Foundation. I really do like this one, so I'm going to hang on to this. Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. I feel like I want to use this, but I think last time I used it, I didn't love it. Because it's like a gel consistency, so it's not exactly the greatest for greasy gals like myself. But you know what? I'm going to give it another try. And I'll do like an update maybe on Snapchat and let you guys know like what I ended up keeping and what I got rid of. The Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream. Oh my god, Emma is going hard. Can you guys hear her? She's singing so hard. Um, this was my favorite BB Cream for a really, really long time. I haven't used it in so long though. <sighs> what should I do with these? I don't know, you guys. I definitely don't need the dark one. So this one I will donate. But medium dark. Uh, I'm going to donate that one too because I never use it. And then this little It Cosmetics CC Cream. I really don't like this product and I keep trying over and over with this. But I, ju I just don't like it. So I'm done with this. I will donate that. This I'm keeping, the Tarte Amazonian Clay BB Cream, because this is a really, really good product. That is staying. This is also a BB Cream that I love, the NYX, what is this called? Perfection in a Tube BB Beauty Balm. This is so good, and again, another product that nobody ever talks about. Really, really good product. Keeping that, and I'm donating this, because I have so many tubes of this. My aunt actually sent me a bunch of these. And I just don't need them. They're just going to waste. So that's getting donated. L'Oreal True Match in W7. That shouldn't be in here. That should be up 
laptop. We are keeping her. So there, I did good, huh? Look at all that space. And look what we're getting rid of. Good job. I know, that's a lot of foundation, but I am proud of myself for getting rid of as many as I did. But in my head, this is so terrible, and I know I shouldn't think this way, but in my head, I know some of you already know what I'm about to say, in my head, because I got rid of so much, I'm like, oh, I can go to Sephora and buy more foundations. And I should not think that way, but that is the makeup addict in me. Like, I already have it in my head that I'm going to go to Sephora and buy more foundation. That, like, defeats the whole purpose. But new foundation is so fun. And I already have two new ones to add to the collection. One that I bought and one that was a gift. So I got the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. Let me show it to you guys. This is in the shade Buttermilk. I was about to say Butterball. I don't know if this is going to match me. I mean, right now I'm tan, so it's not going to match me now. I did try it out today, but I mixed it with my Too Faced Born This Way, but I used the shade Neutral. It was still a little bit light with me being so tan. And I also got the Guerlain Lingerie Foundation. This was a gift, but yeah, so already two new ones to add to the mix. This is also too light for me right now, but when I'm like not self-tan, this is the perfect shade. So, I know, I just have a problem when it comes to makeup, and it's not really any category. It's every category. Like, I just want foundations and highlighters and bronzers. It's just bad. So, anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there are any foundations that I don't have that you think I need to try, please tell me because this bitch is always up for new products. Um, I do want to try Estee Lauder Double Wear. I have never, ever tried that foundation. So weird because I'm greasy and I love full coverage. So you would think that I would be like all over that. But I do want to try it. So, whew, mama has been talking for a long time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and going through my foundations. I love you guys and I will see you all next time. Bye.
This nail polish is really, really good. Wet and Wild, Kiss My Mints. I will kiss your mints, girl. That is good. That is a good nail polish. You need it in your life. You know what? We should go shopping. It's going down. It's going down. <laughs> I texted Courtney and she didn't text me back. I'm so sad. You better be sleeping, bitch. So, Brianna's at that she is testing. I'm gonna test you. I'm a very needy friend. Right, we gotta calm this highway down because it's on another level. Is that better? Ooh, yeah, get a girl, get a girl. 